Hello, my fellow comic book collectors. Uh, this is going to be um, one of my videos in the series uh, they, that I do on controversial comics. I haven't done one of these for a while, actually, but I figured, hey, why not? Um, it's been a while. Might as well do one. <laughs> and the comic that I'm going to talk about today is super controversial. And in some ways, I um, find it kind of prophetic. And I'll explain this. This is a Golden Age comic. From 1947 called this is this tomorrow okay and it's from the catechetical <laughs> i had to practice this catechetical guild um and if you're not familiar with the term catechetical and i'm hoping i'm pronouncing it correctly i had to look it up how to pronounce it <laughs> and i actually know the term i just never saw it pronounced uh, or heard it pronounced i should say and catechetical is actually kind of um, one of these ideas of question and answers and that you can learn through questions and answers. Um, it's also known as uh, Aristotle's method um, of teaching. So one of the things that you do is you ask questions and then you can learn things and you sort of, sort of debate. It's almost like a debate in the respect that you have that question and answer and uh, you can learn from the answers that are given and then questioning those qu answers. <laughs> and then you just keep on questioning until you get a complete understanding of something. Uh, it's, it, it comes from uh, one of the educational processes that's used within the Catholic religion. So that's a little bit of the background behind the people that created this book. They're coming from it from that religious perspective. Um, now, this book is about, um, is it tomorrow, is America under communism? So you're probably wondering, why would a, a, a Catholic <laughs> uh, religious group basically be against uh, communism, for example? Well, uh, one of the tenets of communism is the fact that it's a-religious. It doesn't uh, allow for religion to be part of the society. Um, any religious uh, state, or, or sorry, any communist state will, one of the first things that it will do is remove religion from the table. It will just silence religion. That's what you see in China, for example. They will basically persecute any religious groups. It's a very secular society in that respect. So the, uh, the Catholics basically saw this, at, uh, saw communism and the rise of communism there was a big rise in communism, especially in that time period. Then this is from 1947. You have um, the Second World War has just ended, and you see all of Eastern Europe has been basically claimed by the Soviets, <laughs> and um, have become now communist countries. And there was a big fear that uh, that that same uh, push for communism would be seen in the U.S. And that U.S. would fall to a communist takeover. So uh, there was a lot of fear around that. And if you're a religious organization, you'd be definitely afraid of that. <laughs> so um, this is a very interesting book, though, uh, because it, it talks about how uh, the corruption towards communism happens from within. And a lot of the things that it, it kind of hinted about in 1947, this is, you know, over almost 70 almost 80 years ago, like so 75 years ago, um, this book basically saw a lot of the things that are happening now in the U.S., where we have um, a rise of a much uh, larger government, one that is uh, getting more involved with people's affairs, and one that is constantly promoting division amongst the racial groups. So that was one thing that was very interesting about this book, that they showed that um, there was this racial tension that really didn't exist in, until recently. It really, Obama was kind of the, the president that sort of inspired a lot of this racial tension. Um, you know, I, I, it wasn't that bad before. <laughs> um, it just got worse when it was sort of brought to the forefront. And, um, you know, really kind of people were made to either feel guilty or feel victimized. And that is something that they were talking about is a is a tool by communist societies that uh, they use that tension to uh, you know 
if you can basically uh, divide and conquer kind of approach, where you can divide your citizenry amongst different racial groups, get them all fighting with each other, then you can sort of dominate them all. <laughs> so uh, they talk about that in this book. And it's just, it's a really interesting book. Um, definitely one I recommend uh, people look for. And this book, when it came out, they didn't charge for it. They there were copies that were 10 cents, like which is a typical comic cost, but a lot of the time they would just give them away for free. And so you there was actually three variants to this comic. You would have one where uh, it would just be a normal cover without any uh, indication of price. Uh, then there was a one where they had removed the price. <laughs> so this is like sort of like the circle where the price normally would have been. And the third option was one with the 10 cent symbol there. So um, those were the three variants to this comic. And it's just a really rare comic to find in a high grade because often what people would do is you give them the comic and, you know, it's like, oh, this is like some weird propaganda from some religious group. <laughs> they just they take it and crumple it up and throw it away, probably. So uh, a lot of them were destroyed, basically. But it was, it's an interesting book in the respect that um, it really does give you some insight into what was happening at that time but what is also happening today. And it does talk about uh, the rise of unions and does it talks about the rise of civil, civil groups fighting. And it does talk about what life would be like under communism and the hardships that people would face. There'd be like lynchings and uh, just general chaos in, in the society. So it was, it was kind of interesting. But, you know, obviously it's going to be heavy handed propaganda, but very interesting, uh, very interesting book. So I, I just wanted to showcase this little book. I thought it was kind of fun. I, it's a really, I, I, it's one that I enjoy in my collection. And I, I like these books that um, showcase um, different, like the Elsa, the, Hen, uh, sorry, Elsa. Um, I was going to say Elsa, but uh, the Hens, Hensi book. You know, it shows it shows the, the problems of socialism. It shows the problems of Nazism, which is a form of so socialism. It, it and it really I like these political books. I am I'm, I'm a lover of history. So when I when I read these books, I really do appreciate that history and the historical context context and how it kind of relates to a lot of the things that we see now. And there's one of those kind of expressions that you know if you uh, do not learn from history you're destined to repeat it. And I do believe that uh, that does hold true a lot of the time, that we have a tendency of forgetting the things that we've learned before. You know, it's sort of like with socialism, they say, oh, you know, this time it's going to work. <laughs> you know, if they didn't learn from the last hundred times where it failed utterly, uh, that um, it just doesn't work. Um, but, you know, that's why history is so important to understand and, and really appreciate. So, I, I, I see it from a comic per book perspective. I see it from that history perspective. I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Do you, what do you think of the controversy of this comic? Uh, is it actually even controversial at all to say, hey, you know, this is what America would be like under communism? So um, I'd love to hear your comments and thanks for watching. Bye for now.